We Lots are going to begin today with the Lady Vols, um, of course. Thank you all so much for coming. We appreciate it. Y'all, if you can't make it to Wichita, you've got to be as loud as you can be, but we can hear you all the way from Tennessee. Of course, Coach Kelly Harper there. That was the send off this morning for the Lady Vols, who are headed to Wichita, Kansas, to play Saturday in the Sweet 16. This will be the first time they're going to the Sweet 16 since 2016. Fam, uh, fans gathered at Pratt Pavilion to wish them their best, saying they are rooting the team on throughout the whole tournament. They have not given up, and that's the important thing. They don't let somebody intimidate them, and they keep right on going. So, you know, you get the mindset going, and they're, they're a home free. Now the fourth seeded Lady Vols will take on number one seed Louisville Saturday game time set for 4 p.m. It's going to be exciting and as the Lady Vols make their first trip back to the Sweet 16 in more than a decade, longtime observers say they haven't seen the same hype though surrounding the team as when we were in the Pat Summit era. Well, speaking of Pat Summit, 10 News reporter Vanessa Simlot joins us in front of her statue explaining why this tournament run could make fans more enthusiastic about the Lady Vols. Yeah, Beth, Pat Summit died in 2012 after winning eight national championships. Under Coach Summit, Lady Vols fans expected to do well to go deep in the NCAA tournament every single year, including to the Final Four multiple times. Now, the Lady Vols won their last national championship in 2008 against Stanford. Coach Summit cut down the nets at the end of that game. Now, three years later, she announced she had Alzheimer's. Her last year of coaching, the Lady Vols lost to Baylor. One Lady Vols expert says her last walk down that hallway at the Wells Fargo Arena and Pat Summit's death shortly afterward left many Vol fans trying to balance their sorrow with their fandom. That devastated Lady Vol Nation. I mean, that became national, international news. They, they've emerged from from the sadness and, and here they are headed to headed to the Sweet 16 again. Now Maria Cornelius, who's covered the Lady Vols for over 20 years, says she's excited for the future. She thinks Coach Kelly Harper, who played for Pat Summit, is the right person to bring the team back to where they used to be. But the, she told me that the team won't be going deep into the NCAA tournament every year like they did under Pat Summit. She said there's a lot more parity with the women's basketball teams now. There are so many good teams. And Leslie Beth, that's exactly how Pat would have wanted it would have wanted it and it's a big credit to her for certainly uh, making the, the field more competitive. Vinay Simlot, we thank you so much and can't believe Pat Summit's been gone, passed away in 2016.